we're back. Okay. Switch over to... Whenever I switch over to back and forth from controller to keyboard, it does a little hitch, and I'm not sure what... If that's because I'm recording, or what. Alright. Let's go talk to this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered, you remember. It was the first time Styrbjörn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're oh. still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested oh. how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They're talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. Uh, this is my radio fight club? Eivor. But they lack in experience they make up for in other areas. Okay. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashield the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Wolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right. That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, yeah? Huh? I have handled more. Do you want to fight them all at once? No. Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Eivor Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Truth. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? Do I just I punch you? Fight! Yeah, we're just punching. You have much to learn. No, punch her, please. Uh, well, I dodged it. Is that everybody? Oh. We'll have to fight me first. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about, <laughs> worry about yourself. You're mine. Oh, I countered him. That's enough. Did I win? <laughs> You fought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. The did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed, like his old man. Wait, that is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, 
and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Hmm. Alright. There's like five left. I only... One, two... Three, four... Five. I see. Hmm. I think I'm ready to advance the main mission now. Uh, we probably want to sail there. So I think if we go to the dock, if it's anything like, uh, Odyssey, we should be able to summon our ship from there. Or our ship is already here. Okay. You're just going a really fucking long way away. Yup. Run up the sail! Don't run into the ship. Thank you. You can request a song from your from your scald or braggy, or ask one of your crew to tell a story. sailing for a very long time. That's gotta get tiring, girl. What are we next to? Oh, that. I didn't I meant to do the next song. What do you see? sure what that noise was. Hmm. A very long way away. I can see why they added the auto sale. Because holy crap, there's a lot of ocean going. Maybe there won't be as much once we get to England, but... Cause, uh, I don't know if you know who that, who Pantene Boy was, but uh, he's, he's one of the guys who uh, instigated one of the longest periods of Viking, ra Viking radio on, on England. Territory.
Okay. Have you ever seen so many ships docked at once? Never. Nor has there been a gathering of kings so large as this. Suggest Oh, okay, so we won't go adventuring too terrible far. Oh. Okay. But treasure. I'll bear back. Just a little. Just, just hold on. I'll bear back. Why with the gasp? It's like you've never seen heavily armored warriors before. Oh, it's one of them. Yeah, I see you. Pigs got loose in the house, and now the cellar key is gone. <laughs> that looks like a cellar entrance. Come on. in their poop. Good. That looks cellar-like. Guessing, yeah. It's a little property destruction never hurt anybody. Right trigger to mark sighted enemies. Release to let forth a deadly volley of arrows. Okay. On the torch. Okay. Fine, Sigurd. Not Sigurd, that's your drinking buddy. I just find it very weird that he can't mark things now. Come on, 
one. I need the challenger. Your plan is a foul stench. But we mm -hmm. are strong, Ernie. Yes, strong with stink. Linden. Step close to see your face. And say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Your stench. <laughs> Stomach and a powerful thirst. Oh. Okay. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorum is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one. And see that she warms herself with drink. I mean, maybe I we shouldn't get Ivor drunk. And escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. I really don't think we should get Ivor drunk right now. Really not a good idea. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree. Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. I hope this tutorial goes better than the last one. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Oh, wait. Hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. Cloak? And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. And she's hiding all of her weaponry. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Okay. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach. Uh, uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? I'm assuming walking makes you more stealthy. But I don't know for sure. Eve! 
You are her shit. Take off your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd. ...dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Oh. In a minute. <laughs> Get off the... That would have been quicker, yes. <laughs> Off the wall. Get. Come on. So much running. <laughs> All right. Lord up. me to say he does thank you his day will come oh gods i hate long speeches only when you're not giving them many of you knew my father halfdan the black a great man who achieved great things they buried halfdan's leg near our temple the crops have never grown tall <laughs> they buried his arse near ours and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. 
They made a mockery of his honorable death. So he's lying Bad now. Out. You lie. Hold, Ava. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Scorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava Wolfkist, you are Kurtway Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with it? Oh. <sighs> we'll do you are king of these lands Harald the decision must be yours a modest and honorable answer Gorm I name you warm and call you exile Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. So, maybe he's... King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a battle. I mean, I'm with the dad. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stabian Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Um... All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Oh, so nobody else is going to weigh in? Okay. So they're probably going to be pissed that King Pantene is taking away their title, effectively, and making them underlings instead of petty kings. Okay, we can Alice take the hood off now. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. The 
not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. <laughs> so, Harold's soldiers have moved in. You okay. there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Are you one of Harald's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harald take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Halfdan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. Uh, fine, Sigurd. What do you How think? How are you doing, Hytham? You survived this serious blow. I am mending. I will never be the warrior Bassam wishes me to be, but I can serve my brotherhood in many other ways. With Kjotve dead, you return to the south. We are going west, in fact. Bassam is a tireless crusader. Get some rest before you set out, then. Injured men do not fare well on the open ocean. Of course. Thank you. Hmm. I meant that stick, yes, okay. You heard that Harold is banning raids in all of Norway? I did. Does that not bother you? If we cannot raid anyone, they cannot raid us. Oh, a fair thought. <laughs> Am I all healed up? Yeah. Good day. Uh so trinkets. I can use this. That's all you need. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Okay. Where ah How can I help? Okay. Bearded axe. Ah, nice. I think that's all I can do right now. Do you need anything else? I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. Okay. Let's see here. <sighs> Chain assassination, that's where we're going. Oh, spear. Hmm. There we are. Then I think... Oh, did I upgrade... Oh. Did I upgrade the wrong axe? I did... Uh, that wasn't what I meant to do. Hold on. That was a lot of stuff. I don't want to use up that much stuff on a bearded axe I'm not going to use. Wait, did I already Welcome do it? Welcome back, Waldkist. That is all I need for now. Fine. Come back anytime. Is this after the thing? Yep, okay. We're done. 
try that. No. Ugh. That's way far back. Try this one. If it's not that, then I don't have it. Note to self make save before upgrading gear. Ton of my skills, fine. All right. And soon after, they will be living in our homes. Keep your voice down, they will hear you. Fine by me. If those back routes come to our door, I will carve them new shitholes. Hi, can I give you my tattoo patterns? Nope, okay. I would assume he's in here. Savor, open the door. Come in. Keep your voice down. We'll alert Harald's men. Why, why are we being sneaky? Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Quiet, all. Give me a chance to speak. Okay. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. Oh, you put him up to this. To oh. Land. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You are we taking his whole nothing, city. In a land we do not know, among people who hate us. Chadvis riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. 
Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Okay. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadbis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. Uh. One will marry you and carry you off to the capital. <laughs> would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you moon eyed magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. Yeah, this isn't suspicious looking at all. Hey, bud, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Uh, I think... Not yet. I have a few things to settle first. Let me make a save. All right. Are you ready to set sail, Eivor? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Hmm. Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Steer Bjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths? That I haven't they killed tell anyone. You how they offered us insults and how I slew them for Wait, what? As the dead cannot defend themselves, a bag I haven't killed them. anybody. Fifty weight of silver for each life. But I haven't. Law, Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why I haven't killed anyone, though. Such an uncertain future. Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name, known all across.
across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I'll not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor, and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. I haven't... But I didn't kill anyone. Like, I literally didn't. I haven't even left the town. Okay. Oh. Please sit. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. <laughs> All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hooves. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. And no England wealth in your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of mercy. A temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclaw and the glory he brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Urvalhalla! Aha, we graduated from uh, Tutorial Island. Oh, we're in present day, okay. When did you take up smoking? at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Sean's hey, back. I don't know if you remember him from when I was playing <laughs> Revelations. I know. How do we fix this? 
How are you the key to everything? Hmm. We always end up finding the corpses of the hero we're playing with her. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Tall as well. to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Door? I uh, know, kitty. Yeah? Go through? Yeah. Did you get my tea? Some quality stuff here. Okay. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. So... I don't want to even get into the mess of the modern-day story is... If you want me to go through it, it, so, it, no, I can't even shortly explain it. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. She killed somebody. I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. She kind of went a bit crazy, killed the team member, and then the rest of her old team from Odyssey abandoned her. So these, this is the actual assassins that we're back with now. William is the first protagonist's father. The first protagonist died to save the world last time, but the first protagonist, present world, present day protagonist, also sort of went crazy and killed somebody, which is what he was referencing there. <laughs> and we've seen this sort of thing before. You deal with old assassin shit, you tend to randomly murder people. Sean has been busy. 
So they're in North America somewhere. Probably Canada. That's quite nice. Soothing. And this is the staff of Hermes or Asclepius? I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Um that she got from Cassandra who it's complicated. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. Yeah, probably Canada. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Let me know if you want to go me to go through the insanity that is the present day storyline because it's complicated. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I, mean, I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. She, Layla, looks very unwell since the last time, the last game. Let's have a look. This should be just odd lore. Oh, that's a lot of text. Oh, Lord. No, no, come on, Sean. Turn that thing off. Oh, hold on. I like what you said there. I want to get this for posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. <sighs> what I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the Assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because... Because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want. Or, no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you, like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, we should be free to ignore it, to choose submission, for example. You know what I mean? Like, we should be free to side with the Templars. If it's really my choice, I could do that. Right. It's almost self-refuting. A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway... My dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. He ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. The stagnation sets in, you know? The fundamentalism. Yeah. 
Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake, and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, munching on a wafer. Rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like... like they're doing something. When the hard work is... well, actually getting off your ass and doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. This is very long. Tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. You chose this life. You went through that process and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable know-it-all as a teenager, but I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. I knew nothing. Not until you guys found me. Yeah. It wasn't until I met you, and Bex, and Lucy, that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Oh, Desmond, that was button. his name. I don't normally like touching, but I'll make an exception now. <laughs> I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. Can you just turn that off? Well, all right. That was very long. Okay. Uh, it's about an hour, and it's bedtime, so I'm gonna end it here. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to get into the this mess. It... It doesn't... It doesn't really make sense. I promise. <laughs> it's... It's to facilitate the cool historical stuff, really. Anyway, talk to you later.